I find myself not actually that good at fishing. Not because I don't know what I'm doing, but because I'm actually just offline and would rather cheat. Actually, I'm probably decent. The self-burn was kind of for the comedy. But of course, I'm in here to share you some wisdom with you all. And here's 10 things that you should know about fishing in Sturdy Valley. Number one, get the right rod. Of course, not everyone starts the game with iridium fishing rods. If we did, fishing would be an unbearable task. But of course, the right rod is always necessary. First off, everyone has their picks for what rods they like. Most people begin with bamboo pool and immediately get the fiberglass rod. Others go the slow trend and grind a bit first. The one mistake anyone can make though is getting the training rod. It's objectively worse than all the other rods and can only get fish less than 50 difficulty, which results in a lot of people lying about getting really hard fish with these. Number two, location. The big thing is what type of fish you're interested in. Of course, all the legend fish have different locations, but so do the normal fish as well. Other than fishing at the mountain lake, where most people do, the ocean is of course most popular, and that's also where Willie's shop is. As when it's open, you can sell your fish to Willie, of course, at any time the shop is open. The river is also sometimes good to catch catfish, especially on year one, day three. Otherwise, the beach is good, and so is the river. There, of course, is the part in the mines, and there is the desert lake, just to catch rare fish. Number three, bait and tackle. Bait isn't overly important, but it's definitely beneficial to increase rates of fish being caught, as this can ex be exceptionally helpful in multiplayer forms where days have faster time change and no pausing through opening inventory. Bait also is needed until you get the perk that removes bait from crab pots. Tackle, on the other hand, is massively helpful and almost a requirement. They do things from lowering catch delay to making our fishing bar bigger, or even increasing quality, which is entirely helpful, especially with people that aren't always going to get a perfect catch. Weather. I like the rain. Is that entirely relevant to Sturdy? Not really, but what is, is the weather conditions? Either rain or shine? Walleyes and catfish will only show up while it's raining, and rainbow trout will only show up while it's sunny. A couple others also have specific weather, but the majority of fish can actually be found at any time, though weather does play a bit of an influence. Season Of course, just like weather, some fish only show up in specific seasons, and that's alright. Especially in winter, when you're not growing crops. There's always tons of fish you can look out for and try to catch around the dullness that is that season. There's also the best part of all, the Night Market Fishing Adventure, which allows you to get the Blobfish, Midnight Squid, and Spookfish, which are only obtainable unless you get used Magic Bait. Number 6. Sale Value Fish, like crops, have a star level, and of course there's a base price that's attributed to them. And of course you want higher star levels, which come from either getting perfect catches or using the quality of to increase it, or of course to increase sale prices. Lower quality fish can of course be turned into sashimi and sold for the minimum 75 gold. Number 7. Crab Pots These are useful if you need just a bunch of cheap items. They cost bait unless you got the fishing experience upgrade and otherwise can be put literally anywhere in any body of water. Though these can be expensive, as to craft these without the trapper profession, they'll cost 3100 gold compared to 1500 gold to buy from Lily. Number 8. Legend Fish Of course, when you catch these, your fishing journey has started its completion. Well, that's saying you don't just fish for fun. But these fish are supposed to be challenging, and again, acquiring them all is required for 100% completion, a sturdy value player's pinnacle achievement. All the fish here are some of the hardest, even though they are like the legendary fish. I would say the actual RNG of getting other ones, like the octopus, makes them actually harder than the legend fish. Number 9. Events Other than most of the festivals, which usually have you either bring something or partake in games, the night market has the option to both buy stuff, mainly paintings, and partake in both an actual fever dream scenario, and finally the submarine ride, which is the main fishing activity, somehow giving you access to the bottom of the ocean despite not filling up the entire submarine with water. Stardew Valley makes absolutely no sense. But that's not the only one. Sturdy fans, I see you typing up that comment there. You're right, there is another one. Of course, it's the Festival of Ice, which is the main activity is engaging in an ice fishing competition against NPCs and your friends, if you're playing multiplayer. The prizes are also fishing themed, which does make both of these pretty good activities for someone who enjoys fishing. And finally, number 10, fishing levels. I couldn't really forget these, along with other skills such as mining, foraging, and combat, and of course, you receive experience points for fishing and harvesting crab pots. These give you other access to fishing levels, which probably give you the most helpful set of upgrades other than the artisan perk, especially the Lure Master one, which eliminates the cost of bait from crab pots, which can be considered a lot of help if you're using those. 
Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully you have found a bit of this interesting. Subscribe to support the channel and check out another one of my videos. More content later. Otherwise, this was the Penguin Corporation. Goodbye.